It's like the end of the day. I just want to finish these nail sculptures. This is the first time I ever did acrylic on my own um, nail form. This one came out like with the thing. I kind of like this a little bit, but it's so thick. So I need a drill. This one don't have nothing on it yet, but I'm gonna start cutting. So I cut this one to make it like a ballerina slipper, and this one is coughing. But I wanna follow this a little bit more. It's not even coughing, this is like tapered square. Unless it's roses or like a skull or something. That's kind of Okay, so I can finally talk now after you guys seen all the um, nail things like sped up. I basically, that was like my third time actually trying a full set on like the fake um, fingers. <laughs> and she gave me a hand um, to practice on as well. I have one, but she gave me an extra one. So I'm basically going to um, keep trying. And then once I actually get a drill, like a nail file, well, e file, I'm going to. Um, Put it on. I'm gonna start doing acrylic on my hands, and once I start doing acrylic on my hands, then I feel like I can keep going and keep going until I get some clients. So hopefully by the time I end um school, like I have some clients, so when I move forward, I can start making money. Cause I wanna make money off of doing nails. I'm a makeup artist, and literally on the way out, they was like, um, I'm a freelance makeup artist. They was like, oh, you do your own makeup? I'm like, yeah. Well, he said you do your own eyebrows. I'm like, yeah, I do, but that is like perfect because i was just thinking i'm like you know i need to make some money like i need to be doing my craft what i love and thank god my baby's father is really supportive so i was able to make the step to um push and do this and not have to work you know what i mean so because i don't think i could be pregnant do this and work like <laughs> and have a um five-year-old daughter so, so i'm not gonna say that <laughs> Um, you know what I mean. Goodbye. <laughs>